it's now to move on from Ivanka Trump to another woman who's been having a bit of a difficult time lately. And I am talking about poor old Theresa May. Goodness, it hasn't been good for her. And her party isn't doing much to help her either. Either it's leading cabinet members plotting her downfall, backbench MPs predicting her demise, or a Conservative MP just nonchalantly using the N-word, as if it were normal everyday language. You know, as one does. And then we get to the, uh, the real part, which is, in two years, what happened? This, there is no deal. Oof, not good. Unsurprisingly, as soon as the tape of Anne-Marie Morris's comments were leaked, there were cries from within her own party and the opposition for her to be deselected. Instead, Mrs May issued a statement condemning her remarks and suspended her. This was seen as too soft by many MPs, demanding that at the very least Anne-Marie Morris should be thrown out of the party. Now, for those of you who watch the show regularly, you will know that I'm completely against anyone using the N-word. As a black person, I believe the horrific history surrounding this word means that it should be retired for good. However, I don't think Miss Morris should be severely punished. Instead, she should be debated and challenged so that she truly understands why this word is so offensive and painful. Honest and open dialogue is the only way to change hidden prejudice once and for all. Well, June, um, thanks for picking this topic because I'm really glad we get the chance to have an open dialogue about it, which yeah. I think is good. And I think it's actually quite a fascinating um, a, a fascinating series of events. And the reason I find it fascinating is that I just didn't know people used this language. This is not a phrase that I'd, I'd heard before, apart from in 2008 when another senior Tory used yes. it. Yes. Um, he kind of thinks conservatives step away from the plantation yeah. language. But, um, but, but I, I do question your whole approach to kind of softly, softly, her not losing her position. I mean, you almost present it as if it's either or, you know, it's mutually mm. exclusive. Either she debates it and is challenged or she loses her job and then kind of falls off a cliff. And I mm. think actually you can have a zero tolerance approach and mm. show just how serious it is to use this language. And it, just listening to that, you know, it, it sounded so calculated. It wasn't a swear word that slipped out. It was a metaphor that seemed quite carefully chosen. And, and it, to me, that is very serious. And I, I just, I'm curious to know more about why you feel so concerned for her to remain in her position. I mean, mm. that's not the only way that she can be debated mm. and challenged on it. Yeah. And, and then just finally, I don't feel that she's being honest. Um, and How actually, the let's, hell do you know? let's just let show you the apology that let she said. Finish. She said she has apologised. Important, Observe, important to quickly. say that. She said the comment was totally unintentional. I apologise unreservedly for any offence caused. I would love to know how that was unintentional because to me it was a metaphor that fit the situation she was talking about and it sounds a lot like it was unintentional that she was recorded and reported as saying it because how could you say something and that be unintentional? I just don't understand. See, I, that didn't because, because you can, because, because you can make, you know, this, this is a terrible word, it's outdated, it's wrong, but it it's crass. Word, it was a phrase, it was a metaphor and a phrase. But the word, yeah. you were objecting to a word in that no, no, phrase. No, no, she could have used needle in a haystack, no, she no. didn't, she used this one, you said this no, yesterday. Well, it was no. the phrase, well, well, can, I let me, can I let me speak then? So, so basically, she, she, it's, it's outdated, it's wrong, it's crap. She knew immediately that she said it, it but it wasn't racist, because race, it, to be racist, it had to be said at someone, to someone or about someone. This this was said no, as you've just said. No, agree. this was just said in the form of a metaphor. Now you say you don't know how <laughs> someone could use that word. Let me tell you, because you're not old enough. Because you're not old enough to remember a time, and I'm not saying this is this a good is thing. My point. This you're not old to remember a time when this word was. So I wouldn't say common parlance, but I remember yeah. clothes in stores being labelled. N brown to describe a shade of brown. So for you to say people yeah. were racist to use that word, yes. so you can roll your eyes and all the rest no, of it. I didn't but the bottom line eyes. is, that, I don't that, believe she was. Be, I don't believe for a second she, it was something that came into the back of her. It came from the back of her head to the front. Have you never said anything crass before? Have you never said anything unintentional? Not around and, that. Not space. around this one particularly, but about anything and wished you hadn't said it. And that. But what really got me this week was. The foaming at the mouth Twitter mob. As soon as someone so, makes a mistake, they're on you. Yeah. Reputation trashed, job over, yeah. get rid of it. And all the, all the left hardliners were saying that not only should she have been sacked and chucked out of the party, but the people at that meeting who didn't have a go at her the should, should also be admonished. I mean, around. how Stalin-esque is that? Because they didn't rat on her. They should also be admonished. But I am and, curious as to why they didn't say anything. No, but Afwa, this is my point. Actually, Carol, believe it or not, I... 
I, we're agreeing I've on we're this one. Partly, partly <laughs> agreeing. I still think it's racist. Um, I don't. But, but my point is, we mustn't ignore that there was a time when this sort of language was normal. But that's why I'm saying no, no, I would no, love to hear her no, and kind I, of engaging no, with that and, and being more honest about why she said it. And that's why I'm saying we need the debate and the discussion without actually um, demonising her. Because... Can I just finish? Yes, two, two minutes. Without, without actually... <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> without actually demonising her, because I don't think it was calculated, as you're no, saying. I, don't I think it was so nonchalant. Like, she didn't even realise she'd yeah, said I it. Do. And, and before before you um, comment, Nick, I want to show you um, a debate that Ice Cube had with Bill Maher in America over this same issue. And this is why I think we need to start talking about this stuff. Let's look. You know, it's a word that has been used against us. It's like a knife, man. And you can use it as a weapon or you can use it as a tool. It's been used as a weapon against us by white people. And we're not going to let that happen again by nobody, because it's not cool. It, now, I know you heard, it's in, the, it's in the lexicon, everybody talking, but that's our word now. That's our word now. And you can't have it back. And I personally don't believe it should be anybody's no, exactly. word. I want that word yes. completely because retired. Is, and I, I just want to come back, but... You will know, not the sort of music I listen to, but it's frequently used yeah. in that kind of... Is, and, is that and right? I, no. So and no I've always should, said, no. Okay, so it shouldn't that be a word, word that, needs like, to be okay. archived and retired. Okay, I agree with that. Because that Which, word means ownership okay, of people. Okay, just we so want we no part of it. Just address uh, Carol's central point, which mm. is... Had this, and by the way, I, I think you, I think you're being very unfair to this OMP. Not that I know. I mm. genuinely think it just came out of the sort of subconscious. Had she turned to someone and said, you exactly. are a n-word, yeah. ridiculous. It is, as she said, it is a metaphor. It's not a direct slur. From Just respond past. to that point. From the past. The, my response, the reason I think it's racist is because it, of... The word is racist, the use is no, not. No, the reason I find that... For, and I'm, I'm just talking from subjective perspective of for a moment. Course. So this is how I feel, and yeah. of course you can disagree, and you're mm -hmm. all entitled to your opinion. I found that phrase offensive personally. It is offensive. Yeah, it because, is. Not, it not just because it involved the word, but because of its meaning. You know, the origins of that specific phrase, um, and, you know, we're not supposed to say it on air because it is so to... offensive. It, it's, it was used historically to know, refer to yeah, newborn she, babies. She did. Yeah. With, you know, you have what? to have... It, you have to have... Yeah. Yeah. And it was used historically... Hide dark in, when they were trying to hide. They no, were well, trying to hide from the slave Its origins owners. were during the underground railroad when, yeah. when slaves were trying to hide and would literally hide in a woodpile. But it became... Let me finish, Carol. She didn't Would have let any me finish explaining its, its origin, please, just for a moment. It came yeah. to be used to refer to newborn babies when mm. they were born darker than people expected to suggest there might There'd be, be black a black blood. parenthood yeah. lurking yes. in, in the paternity. And it, mm. so it has all of those sinister contexts yeah. of race being such a pejorative issue. It has no evil intention. Carol, you know, to be racist, you have to have an evil intention. So, so just intention. responding to you, I actually... Sounds weird to say because I don't agree with what you're saying, but I kind of applaud your response more. You know, I'm interested in this the reason saying, that people have this well. lexicon, and I would have this liked to hear I'm from saying. her. But I mean, me. I think we've all got caught up in me saying that it was it was calculated. I, I, that wasn't no, but my Al, main tell point. Tell me something. Can I, wait, just let me finish this point, Carol. Just let me finish this point. I would like to hear from her why she used it, and if it is something that's a relic from her childhood. As um, Lord Dixon Brown, when he used it in 2008, he said, I apologise, this was a common phrase when I was young, and it's still lurking somewhere in my subconscious. Fine. Well, I'm, I'm interested in that. We have these skeletons in our closet. I would and, like us to and, talk no, about them my, and not just why? pretend no, they're not there. No, no, wait, 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 please. <laughs> every time, every time well, I say anything, you've been saying a lot in my well, debate. Please, well, please forgive me. Well, just two moments, and then I'll <laughs> give you the floor. Um, this is what I'm saying. This yeah. is why I think it's important that we don't bash people over their head with yeah. the PC stick. Yeah. So therefore they cannot be honest because the reason she had to come up with that statement is because of responses like yours. So therefore she cannot be honest and say, you know what, I'm from an era where we did used to say these yeah, things. Circular, we need because to... my response is because she No, she but didn't my point is it. we need to create a forum where people can debate this stuff without judgment and then that's how we deal with it. So we, that's why we've seen the rise in hate crime and xenophobia post Brexit because this stuff has always been hidden under the and surface, would you say the and not same if it was a, if it was a, an anti-Semitic remark. Totally, so you would say that we shouldn't be too harsh. We should have. We, we should, should have the debate. Have... We should, and yeah, I well, think the way it wasn't. It wasn't you do, you just... in the way that I think the Conservative Party really needs to look at racism within their, within their party. Agreed. In the way that Labour 
well, the Labour didn't look at anti-Semitism properly. Yeah, exactly. They didn't look at it properly. But at least they acknowledged there was a problem. The Tories don't even acknowledge there's a problem mm. within the party. There's a history of like this. In but but you're talking about the Rachel, about... you haven't said anything. Do you yeah, want to I mean, add? I sort of... I think this is very complicated. I didn't know the actual meaning yes. of the phrase. Yeah. I had heard the phrase because I'm pretty ancient. But the MP in question was born in 1957, where people said That's things like point. that. Yeah. But, I mean, I slightly take issue with what you said about actually cleansing the language completely of the N-word, because I think that actually, as we saw from that black um, musician, mm. He regards it as a tool for black empowerment now. So I wouldn't I, want to I take away no, no, that no. word See, from black I want to take it away people. from them. I you want disagree to. with that because that's oh. why we get this confusion. When black people are using that it's word willy-nilly... I don't no, think no, no, it's confusing. confusing. Like, if you're white, you can't use that word. Well, you can't have it both ways, Afwa. We I mean, can't say we want to use it every five station. minutes and no one else can. No. There's a pop group, group the... with the N-word in their title, as Lots you know. Lots of pop groups. groups. So what do we do about them? I'd rather they change when, their name. When so I don't want that word. Well, when I don't. a television station plays the movie it's... The Dam Busters and Guy Gibson's dog was called that name and he gets <laughs> run over, and when he comes down, when Guy Gibson lands from The Dam Busters... Well, I'm telling you, his dog was... Okay. Black Lab, I think, and he was called the N-word. That was his name. Historical oh, fact. Good, good. And when he lands, he asks his uh, Batman, or his, uh, the guy who's looking after him, where's... Do they bleep the word out? Because it's a dog, the dog had been run over while he's doing the damn busters. The dog is fatally run over. Do we bleep the word out when they change it at the movie? I haven't seen the film. Well, I'm asking you. Just, I can't, I just, I can't it's, comment. What do we do? I don't know what that it's film is. The damn busters. It's about a... It's, you really? OK. It's Dude, about it's a historic operation in World War II. Okay. Yeah, well, I wasn't born. <laughs> do, we, do we bleep the dog's name out? All I'm saying is, do I do not out? think the N word is a word do that we, we the need name to out be of the using <laughs> in 2017. We bleep the, bleep the dog's name out. So we change history. It's no, that's not, no, that's not about changing it's about history. It's about acknowledging history. It's about acknowledging history and not using it today.